Form validation is the process of ensuring that data entered on your forms meets your roles. With LogiForms, our validation system is state-of-the-art and follows form designer best practices. In this tutorial, we'll look at how quick and easy it is to set up unobtrusive validation. Within the form designer, click on the field that you would like to make required. In the field properties panel, ensure you're in the field validation settings. Change the required property to true. Once you've done this, select preview to preview the validation. Let's leave the field blank and hit submit. The validation error message is shown and the field is shown in red. When the user clicks inside the field, further details about the validation error are shown in a tooltip. As soon as the user corrects the problem, the validation is rerun and the error messages are removed. So that's how simple it is to make a field required and show unobtrusive validation. Next, let's add some additional validation. Switching back to our form and selecting the email field, let's make this field both required and let's enforce email formatting. Under the validation dropdown, we have many options for pre-formatted validation routines. You can enforce validation options such as zip code, numeric, alphanumeric, and many more. For this example, let's enforce email validation. Click preview again to preview the validation. This time, let's enter an invalid email address. As soon as the user leaves the field, our validation system will let them know they have made a mistake so they can correct it right there and then before getting all the way down to the bottom of the form. As the user corrects the format, the validation error messages disappear. That's how quick and easy it is to apply validation settings. Let's return to our form now and look at some of the other validation settings. The validation settings we've looked at so far apply per field. Remember, we clicked on a field and went into the field properties panel and edited the validation settings. Now let's look at the global validation settings for the entire form. These settings can be accessed by clicking on the overall form as opposed to a field in the form. Take a look at the form validation settings under the forms properties panel. These settings affect how validation is applied to your entire form. There are various options such as highlight on error to show a red border around the fields that have an error. The same is true with caption highlight. You can choose whether you want to show the error icon or not. You can also choose if you wish to scroll to the top of a page when an error occurs. These options are extremely flexible and allow you to customize the form to meet your needs. A commonly used feature that you may want to use on your form is the show asterisk option. When this is enabled, a red asterisk is shown beside each field that is marked as required. Take a moment to play around with the various settings to see how they work. The next thing we'll show you is one of the neat features of our validation system. We're going to launch the form in a new window. Let's assume the window is small and doesn't fit the entire form. As I scroll to the bottom and hit submit, it automatically goes back up to where the first error occurred. This allows the user to easily correct their errors and continue the form submission process. LogiForms form validation is powerful, flexible, and easy to implement.